It is so tasty. Today I'm sharing how to make this angel hair pasta with chicken, broccoli, pancetta, and a bunch of other tasty things. So it all starts with cooking the chicken breast and you can print out the full step-by-step -step at Sip Bite Go if you're new to cooking chicken breasts this way. But the first thing you do is you season the chicken breasts. I remember, I, re I recommend cutting them in half so they're thinner chicken breasts like this. They'll just cook faster. You sear them in a pan, then pop them in the oven and they finish cooking there. Again, then you go on to make the pancetta. Pancetta is so good, it's gonna bring some saltiness to this angel hair pasta dish. So just a little olive oil, pancetta, sizzle them up, and then you can add the raw broccoli in. Now those are not my man hands, those are my husband's hands. He was making this for dinner one night, so we finally captured it on film, which isn't really film, it's just digital stuff we use these days. Then anyways, you go ahead and you pop in the angel hair pasta, you make sure that's boiling in the background, only takes a few minutes, and then you whip up this delicious sauce with white wine, cream, some butter. It's You don't use a ton of it, but it is a rich, creamy, delicious sauce. Then when that pasta is done cooking, you throw it in the pan with the cooked broccoli, angel hair pasta with chicken and broccoli, all of it just gets assembled at this point. It tastes so good together. Pop on some Parmesan cheese. Um, there are other things you can throw on top that I have listed in the ingredients for this, like roasted red pepper. So this is a really delicious dinner for a family, for a couple. I really love this angel hair pasta recipe. Get the full directions at Sip Bite Go. Cheers!